2 Timothy chapter 2, I'm going to read verses 20 and 21 now. Now, in a large house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also vessels of wood and of earthenware, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from these things, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. That's what we want to be. That's what we want. But we're vessels. Yes. All right? We are, we are vessels. Earthen vessels. Vessels exist solely for the purpose of carrying something mm -hmm. or transporting something. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. It may be a ship carrying passengers or cargo. It may be a blood vessel inside of you carrying life-giving blood throughout the body. But the vessel is about whatever it carries. Okay? We have this treasure, Paul wrote. We have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the surpassing greatness of the power will be of God and not from ourselves. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. We are earthen vessels filled with a treasure. It's not about the package. That's what, that's what Paul's talking about here when he writes to Timothy. It's not about the package. It's about the content. It's what's in the package. Me, makes me think about the ark. What, what was in the ark? You're talking about the ark of the covenant, yes, aren't you? The ark yes, of you. The I covenant. thought you might be. Yes. Well, what was in the ark of the covenant? The showbread. It was the word, the tablets, right? Yes. Over there. And the staff. And on it sat the the mercy seat. Right. But it was the bread, the manna. Mm -hmm. Right? And the word. The word. The point is, the covenant, the Ark of the Covenant is gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many people are focused on it today. Yeah, you know, trying to find, gotta find it. And if you want to see the Ark of the Covenant, yeah. it's right here. That's us. Because that living God lives inside of me. That living God lives inside of you. The if indeed you have God accepted life from him. Yeah. Right? His word has been written on the tablets of our heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, we carry the bread of life. We carry Jesus. That's the treasure that we carry, right? Yes, yes. So what's important in our lives is not us, not the vessel, yeah. but the treasure within. Yeah. It's not about the package, but about the content. If, if you were to receive a phone call from a law firm and they say, well, you have a long lost relative that you don't even know about. And he has passed and left you a million dollars or a billion, or whatever, a lot of money in his will. We've put a check in the mail, sending you this, sending you the money. When you receive that envelope in the mail mm -hmm. that says so-and-so law firm that you just talked to, mm -hmm. are you not going to open it? I would think so. Let me ask you this. If you knew that there was a zillion dollar I see I've gone from million to a billion. To zero. <laughs> if you knew that there was a zillion dollar check in there, do you think that you might tear the envelope to get to the check? Most likely. <laughs> because what's important is the check, not the envelope. We are only the envelope carrying the presence of Christ Jesus. That's right. We have to come to understand that in our lives. Yes. Because what is important about our lives is the life in yes. us. All right? Amen. Unless, of course, you like the envelope so much that you'll choose not to damage it. Well, the fact is, God is so many people are focused on the vessel, mm -hmm. focused on the envelope, focused on the package, right. rather than what's inside. Right. We have nothing, you know. We have nothing. We have we nothing have to nothing. offer people. Nothing. Whoa. You, there's none good, not even one. You have nothing good in you That's right. except Christ. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's, right. That's what you have to offer people. Nothing of yourself, right? The treasure is Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what it says in Colossians 1.27. Not even our word, it's his word. And it has me. I mean, you know, I don't want to get too far off yes. track here, but the fact is Jesus said he didn't do anything that the Father hadn't shown him to do. He didn't say anything that the Father hadn't told him to, to say. So he could say... When I think it was Thomas asked him. Oh, but when we see the Father? 
No, show me. He said, he said show me the Father. Show, me show the us the Father. Father. And Jesus said, have I been with you so long? You don't know? If you've seen me, you have seen the Father. Why? Because Christ was hid in God. Christ was hid in God. That's what it says, Colossians 3, 3. So, because it's not about, it wasn't about Jesus. It was about the Father in him, that work in him and through him, all right? Now, it's your brother, Arthur Burt, now going on to be with the Lord, wrote and said, all Jesus ever did, he never did. Jesus himself said, I can of my own self do nothing. John 5.30